we have the key points the key point we are interested in in the um, training image which are matching with the query image so we are good we just have to detect the now we just have to detect the borders of the image so to detect the borders we need something called homography so actually what is happening here this image has is flattened and, and it has some uh, this its border is something like uh, let's say 20 into 10 but the query image might have some different uh, size or rotated version of this image so we have to give uh, get some transformation of this image of this border in the query image so for that we need something called homography so find homography and we have to supply the training key point the query key points and the method it is going to point the key transformation constant which is rancic cv2 dot sorry and some more parameters which I myself don't uh, exactly know what it is so we have to get the OpenCV documentary for these variables uh, for these parameters and this uh, homography will return one transformation constant and one status variable so we have this transformation constant this will going to convert this uh, border to the corresponding border uh, which is going to be in the query image so let's convert it so we have first we have to get the border of this image which is actually the zero and whatever the uh, width is and the width comma height and the zero comma height basically so let's get this so training border equals before uh, getting the border we need the heights and the width of the image which is we can easily get h comma w equals training image training image whatever it is okay okay So this will give the height and the width of this image and now we can easily calculate the uh, borders from the height and the width all the four corners so the border is here np we have to convert it to np floats so np dot numpy float 32 and here the uh, format it should be is first this corner then the then this corner, then this one, then this one. So first zero zero, and then the zero comma width, then the height and width, and this will be zero comma height. So let's create this one, and this has to be in this list of list version. Okay. So there are two uh, brackets, uh, two square brackets. Inside those square bracket, you need to provide these uh, variables. Uh, first one is zero comma zero comma. Yeah, another one is zero comma the width, which is this one, which is right now uh, zero comma. Sorry, uh, sorry for the mistake. It should be. First this one, then this one, then this one, and then this one. So let's have this one. So height minus one, and because 
the indent uh, the index starts from zero so this one the last uh, point will be height minus one and now for the next one which is this point uh, will be w minus one comma height minus one and the last point is this one so which is zero which is zero comma whatever it is which one it is uh, with minus one okay so we have the border training border and now we have to convert it to the corresponding um, image border corresponding border of inside the query image so it is q u t r query border equals and that will be converted using this transformation constant which we found it by applying the homography so cv2 dot perspective transform s e t c t perspective transform and we have to give the input image or in, sorry input uh, border and we have to give the transformation constant which is h in our case now we have the border of the detected object inside the query image we just need to uh, we just need to draw the border so for that we can use polylines cv2 dot polylines lines and the input image which is we want to draw the border in the color image not in the gray scale so let's draw it in the color image and we have to give the border which is this one and we have to convert it to numpy integer which is np dot uint8 and we give this one and it has to be inside a square bracket inside a list so it is done now we are going to tell that this polygon uh, this polyline is a closed uh, closed loop so is it closed yes it is closed so true for this one and we need now uh, the color the line or uh, color of the line which is I'm going to use green so it is in form of blue green red so 0 for blue 255 for green 0 for red and the thickness of the line I'm going to use 5 so we are done now if let's add one more block if the match is not good there are less number of matches found in the image then we are going to tell that not enough not enough matches and we are going to tell how much uh, what are the number of matches it found in the image so let's see on how many match we need to make the object detectable which is in this case length of the match found which is this one comma the minimum number of match count which is this one this has to be inside border and done now we just have to display the image so for this we need cb2 dot im show and name it result comma the image which is this one query image color image 
and we have to give the wait key otherwise the uh, I am show will not work so give the wait key and give let's say 10 and we are done so it's complete let's test it okay okay worked in one run it's fine so if okay something is wrong so shall we take one argument given okay got it we just have to give uh, another bracket there because it should be a duper one argument which is like this now it's fine Is it okay? Another one which is find homography. Okay, find homography is a part of CV open CV library, so it has to be inside CV2. Another one now the poly lines is something okay. Sorry for that, it has to be int32. Uh, and yeah, other than that, everything looks fine to me. Okay, there's some mistake in the I think there is some mistake in the border. So defining the border here. Zero zero zero. Okay. So the problem was actually uh, this one was cool, and the last one is actually not zero. This last one is uh, first one is this one, and second one is this. Third one is this one. So last one is this one. So last one is it's not zero with it will be with comma zero because first is the x-axis which is width and then the height which is y so y is zero and uh, x is width so here it will be like w minus one comma zero which i instead of what i did zero minus comma w which was wrong so that's why the last uh, in the directed object this corner was in somewhere here should be like this okay now let's see okay now it detected the object perfectly so guys i hope you liked it uh, if you liked it please hit the like button and um, let's see if we can get 20 likes i guess if it crossed 20 likes i will upload another video like this another tutorial like